Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on one dimensional ET equation. In today's session, we are going to solve problems on type 1. Type 1 is nothing but problems with zero boundary values. Let us go into the problem. This problem is very open. They have given the ET equation ut is equal to alpha square u double x and two boundary conditions are given one initial condition is given the same problem can be asked in a different way theoretically they will ask like this a rod of length l centimeter with insulated side is initially at an uniform temperature x this is given its ends are suddenly cooled to zero degree celsius and kept at the temperature find the temperature function u of x comma so they can ask like this also no issues whether it is directly given if they ask theoretically we can solve the problem for this step one is very important step one we have to draw the diagram so a metal rod of length l centimeter now i will take this as two sides a and b so that is going to be x equal to zero another side is x equal to l since the length is l the temperature function is u of x comma t and it is said that both the ends the temperature is kept at zero degree celsius so the two boundary conditions are zero comma t equal to zero u of l comma t equal to zero now diagram gets over next step two the one dimensional et equation is ut is equal to alpha square u double x where alpha square is equal to kappa by rho c or you can take it as k by p c where kappa is thermal conductivity rho is density c is the specific heat the most suitable solution is u of x comma t is equal to a cos lambda x plus b sin lambda x into e power minus lambda square alpha square T. Take this as equation 1. Next, the boundary and initial conditions are given in the question directly. I am just copying and I am writing here. Now we have to solve the problem. Apply 1 in 1, you get some info. Apply 2 in 2, then apply 3 in 3. Applying 1 in 1, that means u of 0, comma t equal to a cos 0 plus b sin 0 into e power minus lambda square alpha square t. We know that cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0. Therefore, substituting the left hand side 0 is equal to a into e power minus lambda square alpha square t. And it is very clear if a into b equal to 0, that means either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0 or both a and b should be 0. In this case, e power minus lambda square alpha square t cannot be 0. Suppose if it is 0, then see equation 1. The equation 1 will become 0. Therefore, this cannot be 0. We have the only choice a equal to 0. Once you get a equal to 0, immediately substitute a equal to 0 in 1. We will be getting the equation 2. That is b sin lambda x e power minus lambda square alpha square t. Now, apply 2 in 2. If you apply 2 in 2, u of l comma t is equal to b sin lambda l e power minus lambda square alpha square t. This is equal to 0. Now we have three terms. The first one is b, second one is sin lambda l and third one is e power minus alpha square lambda square t. It is very clear that e power minus lambda square alpha square t not equal to 0 and b also not equal to 0 because in the equation 1 we made a 0. If I put b also 0 then my u of x comma t will be totally 0. That is not feasible. Therefore b cannot be 0. The only one option we have is sin lambda l is equal to 0. When sin lambda l equal to 0, we know that in general sin n pi is going to be 0. So equating this, we will be getting sin lambda l is equal to sin n pi. Therefore, lambda l equal to n pi. Lambda is equal to n pi by l. We can see the typed version. Now, <coughs> substitute lambda equal to n pi by l into 
will be getting this equation but we have only three conditions in wave equation we have four conditions so fourth equation is mgs most general solution in heat equation we have three conditions so the third equation should be most general solution i am assuming this capital b as bn now writing the most general solution will be getting summation n equal to 1 to infinity bn sin n by x by l e power minus n square pi square alpha square t by l square apply 3 in 3 my third condition is y of x comma 0 is equal to f of x for this problem it is x now this e power minus 0 will become 1 so we will be getting f of x equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l it looks like my half range Fourier sin series with the function f of x equal to x now let us find bn n is equal to 2 by l integral 0 to l x into sin n pi x by l dx now we have to use bernoulli's integration formula that is u dv is equal to u v minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 etc since the power of x is 1 we will be getting two terms after integration let us integrate the given problem u is equal to x this is my diminishing function then u dash is equal to 1 u double dash is equal to 0 dv is equal to sin n pi x by l dx integrating this my v is equal to minus cos n pi x by l divided by n pi by l then integrating v we will be getting v1 that is minus sin n pi x by l divided by n pi by l whole square now mapping uv and u dash v1 remaining all the terms will become zero since after u double dash all are zero now substituting these values will get the answer for bn so bn is equal to 2 by l x into minus cos n pi x by l divided by n pi by l minus 1 into minus sin n pi x by l divided by n pi by l whole square it is very obvious whenever we see sign under the limit 0 comma l or 0 comma pi 0 comma 2 pi 0 comma 2 l or minus l comma l minus pi comma pi make it as 0 so sign term diminishes only we have cos term now take whatever the constants outside there is one minus i am taking minus 2 by l when the denominator comes to the numerator it will become l by n pi and now x into cos n pi x by l remains here now substituting the upper limit we will be getting l into cos n pi my lower limit will become 0 because we have x now l l get cancel i will be getting minus 2 by n pi simplifying this we will be getting minus 2l divided by n pi cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n this is my bn now substitute this bn in equation 3 to complete the problem therefore u of x comma t is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 2l by n pi minus 1 whole power n sin n pi x by l e power minus n square pi square alpha square t by l this is my required solution thanks for watching subscribe our channel share to your friends let everyone get benefit we will see in the next video thank you now choose u is equal to x since the power of x is 1 my answer contains two terms u dash is equal to 1 u double dash is equal to 0 dv is equal to sin n pi x by l dx integrating this will be getting minus cos n pi x by l divided by n pi by l then integrating v will be getting v1 minus sin n pi x by l divided by n pi by l whole square now mapping uv and u dash v1 remaining all the terms will get zero now substituting this will be getting like this whenever you see sign immediately put zero because either the limit is zero comma l or zero comma pi or zero comma two l or zero comma two pi or minus pi comma pi 
or minus l comma l my sign term diminishes now simplifying this i'll be taking this minus outside 2 by l l by n pi will be getting cos n pi x by l the limits are 0 comma l now now when you substitute your lower limit the problem will become zero because of this x only upper limit exist therefore my bn is equal to minus 2 by n pi l cos n pi now cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n therefore my bn is equal to minus 2l by n pi minus 1 whole power n substitute this bn in the most general solution that is equation 3 will be getting u of x comma t is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 2l divided by n pi minus 1 whole power n sin n pi x pi l e power minus n square pi square alpha square t divided by l square so this is my final solution so we have found the temperature function for a problem whose two boundary conditions are given and the initial condition is given as x hope you understand students i have given a clear picture about type 1 non one dimensional heat equation thanks for watching subscribe our channel share to your friends if you have any queries post in the comment we will try to help you good luck see you in the next video